everyone and welcome to my channel Inspired Birdie for another fall fun DIY. Don't forget to check out my other fall DIYs that I have listed below. Alright, so to get started, this fall DIY is going to be done using items that I already had on hand. So because I already had these items in my craft bin, uh, that I'm going to be using, they're not all from the Dollar Tree and I do like to do a lot of Dollar Tree DIYs. That being said, most of these items can be swapped out with items that you can get from the Dollar Tree. So today I'm going to be using some hot glue and I'm going to be using these uh, floral foams which are from the Dollar Tree. This is in the floral section. I'm also going to be using this candle holder which is from the Dollar Tree. Now I believe this, uh, I don't remember what you call this. You guys know what I'm talking about, but I just don't remember the name of it at this moment. This one is from Dollar Store, which is a Canadian dollar store. But I do know that Dollar Tree, you can also buy this as well. Then I have some twine. I'm just going to use whatever twine I have on hand. This is twine from Michaels, but you can get it at the Dollar Tree. I have some leftover floral foam and then I have all of this floral that I got on sale about a year ago from Michaels that I want to use up. So I'm really trying to use up floral that I already have. It's beautiful and I got this at a reduced 80% off last year when they had a really big sale. So if you take a look at the price here, $7.99, I got it for about $2.00. And that's what I'm going to be using today. But you can always go to the Dollar Tree. They have tons of fun fall floral that you can use. That's absolutely beautiful. Sorry for the lighting, guys. I'm going to fix that for you here. And this orange, let me double check. Yeah, this one is from Dollar Tree. And I might incorporate some of the orange as well. I'm not too sure at the moment if I'm going to go with just pastel. And then this was leftover, which is from the Dollar Tree as well. So those are all the items. Oh, and of course, we have to talk about the star of this DIY. I almost forgot. So this floral box is from Michaels. Again, I got it at 80% off. What a great deal. Look at how beautiful this is. And it's not really big at all. The price here... $14.99. Can you believe that, guys? Definitely didn't pay $14.99. It was 80% off that price. Now, that being said, I also love doing DIYs using decorative boxes from the Dollar Tree, and they always have decorative boxes for fall, Christmas, Halloween that you can use as well. They also have other types of uh, craft bins like this too that you can use alternatively so doesn't have to be with items from Michaels you can do this with items from Dollar Tree so go let's go ahead guys I hope you enjoy this quick DIY and let's get started new to my channel I always get tons of questions about where these clips are from these are also from the Dollar Tree and you can grab them in the craft section I absolutely love them for what I'm doing right now definite staple in any crafters craft bin
what the heck is she doing? I thought I would quickly explain. I'm just packing in some of this and I still can't remember the name and I use this stuff all the time. Anyways, I'm just packing it in to cover up all of the green floral foam because I love the look that it gives. It feels very fall to me. So I love using this stuff to just cover up the foam and add it into the floral box. And I mean, you could do it using um, like green or brown moss, which you can get from the Dollar Tree in the floral section, or even using like potpourri. They've got really great fall potpourri right now. They've got the pumpkin spice, which smells amazing. So I just wanted to quickly let you guys know what I was doing in case you were wondering.